Natasha Leoveradkar has said that he did not contact Clare County Council about a wind farm development following a conversation with businessman Donald Trump over Dunebeg four years ago. Yesterday while at a St. Patrick's Day lunch on Capitol Hill, Mr. Veradkar revealed he had contacted Clare County Council seeking information about planning for a wind farm, which was close to the then-businessman Donald Trump's golf course at Dunebeg. Mr. Trump objected to the construction of a nine-turbine wind farm proposed by Clare Coastal Wind Power. Mr. Veradkar, who was Minister for Tourism at the time, said he approached the local authority after Mr. Trump had phoned him directly. Tasha says he did not call council over wind farm development pic.twitter.com slash j5 Ike Wizzle, Root News, Adderk News, March 16, 2018 With the U.S. president looking on, Mr. Veradkar told Speaker Paul Ryan's lunch event that upon taking the call he contacted the local county council and endeavored to do what I could do about it. The planning permission was later declined, he added. I do think it probably would have been refused anyway but I am very happy to take credit for it if the president is going to offer it to me, said the Tasha. Speaking to reporters in New York today, Mr. Veradkar said he did contact Failty Ireland, the tourism authority, about the matter. He said that following the controversy over his remarks yesterday he had gone back and checked with his staff and checked the record. The Tasha explains how he got a surprise call from Donald Trump a few years ago. Pick.twitter.com slash Veblosm D2S, Root News, Adderk News, March 15, 2018. Mr. Veradkar said this showed that he had not contacted Clare County Council either verbally or in writing as Minister for Tourism. Mr. Veradkar said it was within the remit of Failty Ireland to look at planning applications to see if they would have a negative impact on tourism. He said that when he contacted Failty Ireland they were already aware of the matter in Dunebeg and made their observations to the council. Farad Carr says he passed on Donald Trump's concerns to the relevant statutory agency four years ago. Pick.twitter.com slash h8 vercoach, root news, adderk news, March 16, 2018 asked if it was an error of judgment to tell such an anecdote on the international stage. Mr. Farad Carr replied, it was that sort of an occasion where people were telling stories and anecdotes and jokes. Mr. Veradkar said that in politics there were people who would try to make a controversy out of any remark. He added he would continue to be a straight talker. Breaking, Tasha at Campaign Folio has released the email he sent to Failty Ireland after he received a call from at real Donald Trump regarding Dunebeg. Twitter.com slash F3 or Kiel 5 MR, Brian O'Donovan, at Brian Odd underscore news, March 16, 2018 When pressed on the matter, Mr. Veradkar said what he had done was entirely appropriate in passing on the concerns of a businessman investing in tourism in Ireland, I did what any tourism minister would do, he added. Read more, Clare Coastal Wind Power wanted to build a wind farm, four kilometers from Trump International Golf Links in Dunebeg. Opposition politicians had earlier criticized Mr. Veradkar with Labour leader Brendan Howland saying that Tasha's admission to being involved in a planning matter involving Mr. Trump was a sign of Leo losing the run of himself. Clare Coastal Wind Power said it will be reviewing the situation over the coming days.